Hi, Yarn of Bees. How are you today? Woo! <laughs> wow, what a weekend. What a weekend. God, I feel like I'm so far away from you guys. Um, oh, sorry. I just got out of the shower. My hair is all wet and, and just all over the place and getting gray. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm in grandma mode now. <laughs> a boy! Yay! I knew it was going to be a boy. I've always known it was going to be a boy. Um, I knew when she was a little girl that she was going to have a boy. How I knew that, I don't know. But I always pictured her with a little boy. So, whew. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was... Yeah, it, it was a bit of a cluster, but you know what? I it, Tia says, you know, I wish a few things had worked out differently. And I was like, yeah, but you know what? Nothing ever works out perfectly. So um, I, I think it turned out great. Uh, but yeah, oh my God, I'm just like over the moon. Um, I didn't explain it in the video, but... Um, I explained it in the posts that I did on my Instagram and Facebook page. So, uh, for those of you that didn't see those, I'll explain now. Um, and hopefully do it without crying. It's me, right? <laughs> There's always got to be some sort of tears. <laughs> okay, so... Um, basically Tia is due on December 28th and she wants to get a C-section. So they say that <clears throat> you're supposed to have a C-section a week before your due date, which would make it December 21st. Um, December 21st is the anniversary of my mom's passing. And so my mom passed away in 2008 and all of this all of my yarn all of my crochet this channel everything is because of my mom um for those of you that are new uh I never crocheted anything I didn't want to learn how to crochet nothing until after my mom had passed um, my mom never taught me how to crochet because I just wasn't interested. And so <clears throat> when my mom passed, I all of a sudden got this urgency to start to learn. My mom did teach my niece how to crochet. So my niece taught me. And uh, so... Once she taught me how to do a granny square, it I just went, okay, I got this. <clears throat> I've always said, I've had my channel now for three years, um, and I've always said that my mom, I feel like my mom is working through me. I don't believe that I'm the one that's making all of these creations. I believe it's her. Uh, I believe that she's having a grand old time getting me to go shopping for all these kinds of yarns that she never had. And <clears throat> she's just, she's living through me, you know, and I truly believe that because I can't, I, for me to be able to create some of the things that I've created, I'm just like, that is not me. That is my mom. Because <laughs> I can <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so she's now having fun doing all the things that she never got to do when she was here. So anyway, uh, so the 21st is a very significant day for us. Um, ever since she passed, we've not enjoyed Christmas. I've, I've told you this in, George and I both told you this in past videos. I don't like putting up trees. I don't like putting up decorations. Um, I love doing the gift giving, but to do the, you know, rah, rah, it's Christmas. I just, I don't 
do that because it's just a painful time for me uh, and for the, for our whole family. Like we just grin and bear it and just get through it and be done with it. Um, <clears throat> so for this baby to hopefully be coming on the anniversary of my month passing, it's going to be a flip for our family. <clears throat> it's, um, it's going to hopefully take out all the negative crap, bring in the positive stuff, and we will be a renewed family <clears throat> as a whole. Um, and hopefully that this child brings our family closer together and <clears throat> makes it a happy time, right? My biggest concern was that the child was going to have that, oh, but it's Christmas and my birthday at the same time. Um, my birthday was never separated from Christmas. That was my biggest concern. Uh, so I'm hoping that we can remedy that and that Tia and James will be able to make his birthday special. It feels so weird being able to say his now. <laughs> um, being able to make his birthday really special and then Christmas. Um, this is going to be only the second boy in our family. This is a very estrogen pro, uh, strong family. So, um, my mom, Oh, okay. Drinking coffee. <laughs> ah. My mom always wanted more boys in the family. We have one, and that is my oldest sister's. I don't talk about my oldest sister very much because we're estranged, um, as are her children. Uh, <clears throat> but she has the only boy. And um, they aren't really part of our family now. So we don't technically... I mean, technically we have a boy in the family, but in reality... We don't. So this is huge for us. Um, our family's getting bigger. I started to really feel, once my mom and dad passed, I started to feel like our family was shrinking. Um, it was just basically me, my sister, and our two our kids, my, my niece and my two daughters. That was our family. That was it. And, um, I always thought, you know, I never had boys. My sister never had boys. There was no one to lead on my dad's legacy as a clerk, <clears throat> right? I, I'm basically it. <laughs> so, uh, but now we have a new generation <clears throat> and, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff in James's family, my, my daughter's significant other. Uh, there's this whole bunch of stuff in his family as well. His father just recently passed away uh, two years ago, I think, on December 21st. So there's some stuff going on up there. You know, there's some family stuff being planned up there that they're, they're all going, oh, watch, we're going to do this to them. So <clears throat> um, the passing of James's dad was really hard on him as well. So I think that this baby is a healing for our family. And I couldn't be more happy um, because we need it. We, we've had a lot of tragedy in our family. We've had a lot of pain, uh, and we need to heal. And I think that this is going to do it. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it's, oh, there's, there's much more to the story, um, that I can't talk about right now, but, uh, 
it's going to be an amazing, amazing uh, event. So I can now officially <laughs> start making blue stuff. Um, I, oh, you guys, I'm going to put a picture up right here. I hope James doesn't watch this video. Tia, tell James not to watch this video. Uh, I got this for the baby. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited because, you know, it's, you know, I got it for James and the baby, right? Like to have that daddy son time. Um, and I just, I hope James likes it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I need ideas, guys. I need boy ideas. I had it in my head. Okay. If it's a girl, I can make baby dresses and all that kind of stuff. But the, this is my issue. The baby's being born in December. So I've got January, February, March, three, maybe four months of cold weather. So if I start making sweaters and everything, the baby's only got those four, three, four months to be able to wear them. And then he's going to grow out of them, right? And then he's not going to need them. So, and there isn't really anything for a boy to be able to do summer stuff, right? It, wearing crochet in the summer is like, uh, no. Um, so it won't be until the following Christmas or winter that I'll be able to make him a sweater because then he'll become almost a year old. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to be one of those grandmas that makes him a ugly Christmas sweater every year or something. <laughs> like <laughs> my mom had a tradition with us girls every year at Christmas, she would buy us pajamas. Yeah. So my sister kind of made that tradition keep going. Uh, and so now I got to figure out a tradition for our kids or for our kids' kids and stuff. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so maybe it's going to be sweaters. Who knows? <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I... I yeah. <clears throat> it's going to be fun, though. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, I don't want to be one of those overbearing grandparents where my mom goes, Mom, stop making, you know sweaters or stop making stuff because the baby's not going to wear it or you know um so I got to kind of balance that but to go and buy stuff oh hell yeah I, I I you know what I never looked at girl stuff when Tia and I went out and was looking at baby stuff I never looked at the girl stuff I always looked at the boy stuff and my god they have so much the most adorable boy stuff that we never had when we had our kids, right? Like, oh my God, they're so cute. There's like, oh, little Mac jackets and oh, Cabela's. Oh, I'm going, Tia loves Cabela's. So I'm going to go to Cabela's and I'm going to start checking out, you know, baby stuff or kids stuff or whatever, because man, um, that, that kid's going to be set. You know, oh yeah, little hiking boots and oh yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have so much fun. Um, I do have something in store uh, now that the reveal is done. Um, I have a fun game that, you know, thing that I want to do on my channel. Uh, I'll wait to talk to you guys about it um, when I get the supplies that I need. But just know that it's going to be another raffle, okay? Um, and it, there's going to be, I think, three winners and three boxes of yarn to win, okay? But it's going to be a fun. It's going to be a fun thing. I got things planned, <laughs> so because I want you guys to be involved in this, I really do. You guys have always been my support group. You guys have always been there for us. 
and uh, you know, and my girls included, right? Like you guys have been there. So I want you guys to be a part of this just as much as we are. And uh, whether you want to or not, you're coming along. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Um, because I know there's a lot of grandmas out there, right? And I, I want you guys to, um, to be, be a part of this and to watch the goings ons and to, you know, for me to be able to introduce him to you guys. Uh, so yeah, I'm, uh, I got some things planned. So <laughs> I hope you guys are going to be excited about it. I hope you guys are going to get involved in it. Uh, and <clears throat> yeah. So the one thing that George and I did, like, I, I think, yeah, we did, uh, we did, um, tell you guys in the video, we bought a, a gift card, a hundred dollar gift card, and we raffled that off for them. Um, <clears throat> not as many people showed up as we were expecting. So there was a lot of food left over. Um, but yeah, so Tia's going to have buns for days <laughs> and days and days and weeks and days as so half of her freezer is full of buns. <laughs> So, because, I mean, I told her, I says, you know what, maybe half of those 70 people are going to show, you know, and she's like, well, I don't know, he says they're coming, and I was like, well, we'll be prepared for it, but, you know, I had a feeling that was going to happen, because I've, I've thrown, you know, barbecues and stuff like that before, and we haven't had everybody show, so, uh, you know, that's just the way it is, the nature of the beast. So, anyway, um, it is what it is, and it it turned out good. Like it was, it was fine. It was fine. Oh, so, um, <clears throat> Tia's not having a baby shower. Uh, the reveal was it. Um, so I, that's why I want to do stuff on the channel and, um, hopefully, you know, help raise a little bit of funds and make it fun for you guys so that, you know, they, have a little something to help them. Um, I mean, I'm going to be doing a lot of shopping. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. You guys have already like made baby blankets and stuff. And I'm just like, Oh my God. Like I was, uh, Tia is just over the moon with that. She's just like, I can't believe that people that haven't even met me want to make stuff for the baby. And, and she's like, I just, I don't even know what to say. And I said, just say thank you. <laughs> you know, like, um, <clears throat> it's just amazing. You guys are amazing. We love you so much. Uh, and you know, that's, that's why I want you guys to be a part of this because you know, you are my family. You guys are my family. Um, you guys mean the world to me, even though I haven't met you, even though I haven't seen you, I feel you. I feel your energy. Whenever you put a comment in the video, anytime you send me an email, anytime you send me a card or something in the, oh, that reminds me. <clears throat> um, like I feel it, right? I feel the love. I feel the caring. And that's what this community should be all about. Unfortunately, there's um, other channels that ha are having issues with people and that's, that's really unfortunate. I am so blessed that I haven't had any real issues on my channel. Thank you. Uh, oh, mailman. Nope, George. <laughs> um, so yeah. So speaking of cards, I happen to have gotten a card in the mail, uh, which I was totally not expecting, but, oh, it just touched my heart. Um, this card is from Sherry. And here's the card. Whoops. It says, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, it says, just a note of thanks for the yarn surprise you sent me. I loved the stitch markers and actually... <clears throat> Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. And actually were the first ones I have ever got had. Um, just nice to have people in the world like you. A friend in yarn, Sherry. 
I, I cried when I opened that. But look what she made. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's, it's that, um, oh, what is that stuff called? Um, that plastic mesh stuff. I can't remember what it's called, but you can crochet in it. You can make purses out of it. You can make, um, <sighs> Kleenex boxes. You can like, you can do a lot of stuff with it, but that just, oh, it's stunning. It's so pretty. I'm going to have to put it up here somewhere on my channel. Oh, hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah. So, anyways, um, thank you so much, Sherry. That, that <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> that meant a lot. That meant a lot. Okay. <clears throat> um, What else? Oh, <laughs> diet blown. Holy cow. I James, I, I James, I, I blame James. I blame him because I was doing good. Like we were both doing good. And then James is a junk foodaholic. Oh, geez. He had this big thing of chocolate bars and stuff like the Halloween chocolate bars and everything. He came up and he says, here, mom he says, and I went, Oh my God, I can't do that. And he says, yes, you can. And he dumped like five of them on my, my lap. And I was, and I could smell the chocolate. And I was just like, oh, okay. Maybe just one for later. Um, oh, I felt awful. I was nauseous. And I was like, why did I do this to myself? And then, um, then George and I, we ended up having, oh, what did we have? I can't remember, but you know, we started eating stuff that was not, not carnivore, <laughs> not at all. Um, but that's okay. You know what? We fell off the track for a couple of days and, uh, we're back on track. So it's all good. And I, I only gained a pound, so I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Um, but I am, I am going to start incorporating a few things into my diet. Like I, I put avocado back in my diet, which is fine because it's a fat. Uh, so I'm, I'm not a hundred percent carnivore. I'm more a car, a ketovore. So it's some keto, some carnivore, mostly meat, but you know, the avocado, um, and I don't know, maybe something else. Georgia war. A Georgia war. <laughs> yeah. George is staying carnivore, right? Like he's, he's going to stick on that because he does vegetables just kill his stomach. Um, and he doesn't like fruit. So this is the perfect thing for him. So, yeah. <clears throat> so that was, that was fun fun, fun weekend. Um, but now it's go time. Now it's, uh, I've got a lot of things, um, on the go now. I've got to get ready for craft fair season. I got to get ready for baby coming. Um, and whenever I go baby shopping, I'll take you guys with me. <laughs> and yeah, so I, I'm so pumped. This is, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. So, okay guys, that's it for me. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. And, um, if you have any ideas for boy stuff, leave it down below. Okay. Or email me at crochetacanada at gmail.com. Um, you can get a hold of me on, uh, Facebook messenger as well. Just look up Sandy Clark. Um, you'll be able to find me there. <clears throat> I haven't been able to change my name to Hinchliff. I don't know why it won't let me do it. It says I've already changed my name or something. I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, so yeah. Um, what else? Oh, uh, shop update, my new shop. Uh, the link is down below. Um, I haven't had a chance to put anything more in there. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I was getting prepared for the reveal. So now I can start putting stuff in there. I'm going to start making some more stuff. 
Uh, and thank you so much for the ones that have purchased. Um, your stuff is already in the mail. Uh, what else? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's it, I guess. Okay, guys, I will talk to you later. I love you all. Bye. Oh, I'm having Heather issues. <laughs> that's not going to work.